the American Star Chamber, FISA, to be reauthorized, strengthened by GOP-led House. The quiet process of reauthorizing the Star Chamber, the FISA court, has begun. That's right, America's Star Chamber, the FISA court. Hi, my name is Paul Gordon. And I am with iState.tv, as you can see from oh, there, right, right. Well, it's it. You can see what the logo is. This is your i top for the day. That's right. Two days in a row, we're going to have an i top. Remember, we don't normally necessarily we don't do i tops every day. We do we do i talks every day, Monday through Friday, but we don't necessarily do i tops. So this week, you actually get two i tops. So I know you're all happy. Uh, we're going to go and dive right into this, <clears throat> what can only be described as a, as a, as a, as a fun filled frenzy of, of freedom. So yesterday, that's October 4th, 2017, the GOP controlled U.S. House began to circulate a draft of FISA Section 702 reauthorization. While everyone's going around screaming about bum fires, this is going on. So, as part of the proposed legislation, which you can read in the article that I'm using to create this video, which, of course, I will link in both, both the description and the commentary, as usual, the bill will give the state permission to gather intelligence information from U.S. persons. Now, U.S. persons, that means, in legalese, that means citizens and legal permanent residents as well as, yeah, well, that's it. <laughs> Citizens and legal permanent. I don't know who else I was going to add there. It's like, who else do you want to add to that list? I don't want to add anyone to that list. Uh, so, so in essence, it'll give the state permission to gather intelligence information for these folks, as well as to store that intelligence information for ninety days. Now, 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 let me let me throw this caveat in there. How exactly anyone knows that the government is 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 actually getting rid of this data? Not not exactly known. Uh, even if the government can document how it purged data in one place, the very nature of digital storage means that it will not be terribly difficult for the government to create secret copies beyond the purview of whatever inspector general is assigned to assure the laws are being followed by the state bureaucracy. Yay. Now, even even that token restraint is given a, a giant walk around because this bill allows for the director of the NSA to go ahead and ignore that 90-day restriction on data storage if the director deems that waiving the restriction is, I want to put a little quote on here, necessary to protect the national security. Of course, that's a very precise sentence, and there's not a lot of wiggle room in that phrasing at all. Now, if you're a connoisseur of sarcasm, you probably noted a healthy dose of it in that, in that last statement. Lest you think these Republicans who love to, to laud themselves as constitutionalists strictly, adhere, strictly adhering to my Bill of Rights aren't prepared to give you some more freedoms. Now, this bill does create some extra paperwork for the NSA uh, when, when they decide to execute this waiver to store data past 90 days. So, so we got that going for us. I mean, hey, that that's a victory, right? 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 Other exciting provisions in this bill include assuring that any effort to determine how many innocent Americans were swept up in a FISA warrant 
with their Fourth Amendment rights being violated, would easily be rebuffed with the magic words that coming up with such numbers is simply not achievable. There you go. That's it. And lest you be concerned that the federal government could face some accountability if it were shown that it were lying in a FISA court proceeding, I know it's hard to believe they do that. Well, well, the bill offers assurance to federal agents that they need not be concerned with such trivial matters. The bill protects them from any further scrutiny or consequence. So... So what you end up with is a reauthorization of what essentially amounts to star chambers where citizens, I'm going to put that in air quotes, hold on, where citizens, not just citizens, U.S. persons, so uh, legal permanent residents as well, are subject to scrutiny on their activity based on the nebulous and general claim that they're Activities could potentially be a security risk to the state. I see no way that anyone would abuse that. that that's, that's absurd. That's, that's, that's absolutely absurd. So what you end up with is a reauthorization of what essentially amounts to star chambers, where citizens and U.S. persons, well, really, let's just say U.S. persons, but, but you know, let's focus on the word citizens because we are talking about the GOP here, the champions of my Bill of Rights, my Constitution, and citizen is a magic word for that group, so I'm going to go ahead and, and stick with citizens, can be assured that private data nebulously collected could very well be preserved for years just sitting behind the incompetent firewalls of government, vulnerable to hack attacks, vulnerable to insider hack attacks for political reasons. I know I know you'll find this hard to believe, but could be someday you could be running for office and uh, maybe you're ruffling some feathers and maybe some political party that maybe has some connections might uh, be able to go and... Uh, Get themselves some information. That would never happen. Right? So, yeah, what, 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 what this is, is it's, it's simply a reauthorization of, of the star chamber. Uh, where citizens can be assured that they could easily become the target of a FISA warrant through knowing lies told by NS or by to told by government agents to FISA judges unaccountable and the agents who lie they'll do so with no fear whatsoever of being held accountable for doing so and I and I I have to say all in all it, it sounds like a typical day on Capitol Hill which is not I repeat not a good day for anyone else. So my name is Paul Gordon. This has been your iState.tv iTop. I won't say iTop of the day because, again, I'm not going to say you're going to get iTops every day. Uh, but if you like what you see, be sure that you like, share, comment, all that stuff, and subscribe. And above all else, when you subscribe, hit the bell to assure that you get notifications for the next time I do a video. So... On that note, I'll say I'll see you. I'll see you the next time I do a video.